Hello everyone and welcome to The Frame. Firefighting remains one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. According to the U.S. National Fire Protection Association, NFPA, 62 on-duty firefighting fatalities were registered in 2020. A sharp increase from the 48 deaths recorded the previous year. Fortunately, science has been on a constant quest to minimize, if not eliminate, these unfortunate fatalities. In fact, engineers in the Austrian company Luft GmbH have already completed work on several robotic firefighting support vehicles and pump systems. Known as the Luft 300 and the Luft 60, these state-of-the-art robots are taking unmanned firefighting to a whole new level. Basically, uh, Luft 60 is a firefighting support machine. It supports uh, firefighting firefighters during their dangerous jobs. And it's uh, the main application started with tunnel firefighting and came up to the wide field of industrial firefighting Everywhere you, you, you do not want to send firefighters into a building to risk their lives by collapsing buildings, collapsing structures. Built for large and extremely difficult operations, these versatile machines are essentially remote-controlled tanks equipped with powerful hoses and extinguishers. The two models of the motorized machines also possess adjustable monitor nozzles and extendable extinguishing cannons. The parts of the Luft 60 are hydraulic driven and we have two major things on it. Uh, the one is the water mist, it's uh, some millions of small water droplets and they are transported by means of an airstream. So that is the second thing, a big ventilator to get the water droplets into the fire to extinguish the fire. The Luft 300 model specifically is considered the cutting edge of firefighting robotics. Its hose is capable of blasting water up to 280 feet, pumping out over 1,450 gallons a minute at an impressive eight bar output pressure. It also has a misting function and a built-in cooling system to attack different kinds of blazes at prolonged intervals without any output alterations. The extinguishing cannon can rotate up to 270 degrees, while the crawler undercarriages are built for maximum stability to enable precise driving and turning maneuvers. There are two systems, the 300SG and the 300HF. The SG is a unique device which combines all the advantages uh, of the smaller Luft 60, but improved in power, in range, in throwing range. The HF, the 300HF, is the most modern, fully movable and remote-controlled water gun with the inbuilt pressurizing pump rated 8,000 liters a minute by, at, the, at 10 bars, has 300 horsepower and a throwing range of about 110 meters. With their 300 horsepower diesel engine, both Luft 300 models are powerful enough to push vehicles out of harm's way during their tussle with fires. Moreover, their reinforced metal bodies and internal fireproofing qualify these robots to fully take over and keep human firefighters out of harm's way. The goal of firefighting robots is not just to maximize man's ability to fight fires, but to dramatically reduce to a point of totally preventing firefighter injuries and fatalities. Indeed, as brush, grass, and forest fires become more and more frequent, deaths are on the rise. That's the reason why, over the years, many national governments, including the United States, have made the prevention of firefighting fatalities an issue of national priority.
One part of the world that has been no stranger to firefighting difficulties and fatalities is Australia. During the so-called Black Summer of 2019, hundreds of bushfires ran rampant all over the country, consuming bushes and houses with very catastrophic outcomes. Not all fires, however, can be conquered from the ground alone. Fires that occur on high buildings or places inaccessible from the ground necessitate specialized aerial fire combating machines. That's why Lockheed Martin and the Kaman Corporation recently unveiled the unmanned version of the K-Max firefighting helicopter. This unique machine is fully capable of doing anything a regular helicopter can without putting any lives in danger. With minimal ground operation oversight, the unmanned K-Max can sling lift and deliver a full 6,000 pounds of cargo at sea level or more than 4,000 pounds at 15,000 feet altitude. Flight autonomy also entails that the K-Max can safely deliver sling loads of water to multiple out-of-sight drop zones before returning home to base during a single flight. Drone technology is also being implemented by the U.S. Navy, where fires at sea can put both lives and billions of dollars worth of equipment at risk. Shipboard fires are amongst some of the deadliest situations sailors can ever be faced with, especially a Navy vessel where the presence of ordnance on board is almost always a certainty. If we have a shipboard fire, we have to be able to quickly get it under control and then regain the ship's ability to maintain its fighting mission. You know, we have not only the ship, but we have ordnance on board, and we have a lot of flammable systems on board. Fires on ships may occur far at sea where no emergency fire units can quickly reach. This is where the Safe Fire robot comes in. The Safe Fire shipboard automated firefighting robot is a two-legged bipedal humanoid with some impressive capabilities. So there's substantial losses incurred when you have a major fire, when you can't suppress it at an early stage. SAFER is the uh, shipboard autonomous firefighting robot. And this is a program uh, that's been going on for about five years, basically to develop a humanoid capable of fire suppression. Developed at Virginia Tech, Safe Fire can walk, balance, traverse obstacles, withstand heat for prolonged periods, and respond to gestures and commands. Apart from its outstanding firefighting capabilities, the robot is helping researchers evaluate the effective applications of unmanned systems in damage control and inspections aboard naval vessels. The Safe Fire prototype test conducted in 2015 on the decommissioned warship USS Shadwell had very targeted objectives. Well, our objectives for the demo on the Shadwell were to show that the, the robot could walk over what was a very uneven floor, that it could uh, orient itself to the fire, that it could autonomously handle the hose, operate the hose, aim the hose, and suppress the fire, which it succeeded in. With such relentless advancements in firefighting innovations and with unmanned systems taking over the war against dangerous infernos in the hills, in cities, and at sea, the world may hope for a future with zero firefighting fatalities. That's the end of this feature on The Frame. Subscribe to the channel to catch us on the next video. See you next time!